Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be messages for my dearest fellow Cancers. Cancers, this is a Saturn in retrograde reading which is taking place on May 23rd. And so over the next four and a half months, we're set to experience an intensification of karmic lessons and dealing with the past. So sometimes our current situation or our challenge is kept on a loop because of unresolved past issues and karma. So Cancer, in essence, karma is the re-experiencing of an unhealed trauma over and over again. Abandonment fears, running cycles, and separation issues are nearly always rooted in childhood or past life karma. These negative energy blocks could be holding you back from twin flame union, calling in or reuniting with your true soulmate or your divine counterpart. So running or separation cycles are a clear indication of karma at work. So when we experience repeating cycles, we need to look at the deeper causes to end running and separation permanently. Whether you are currently dealing with a karmic soulmate, which many of us have been led to believe are bad or that we need to stay away from them. But the truth is we need them to heal and resolve karma if we ever want to come into union with our divine counterpart. You may be experiencing karma or on a karmic loop with your twin flame. And so this reading is going to take a look at what's happening right now, how you can move through it with grace and ease, the lessons that you're learning, what you're leaving behind, so the karma that you're healing and releasing, what's on its way in, and what's your medicine for the moment. Now, Cancers, um, I'm going to ask that you guys check out your North Node. Um, I, these are going to resonate mostly or, or more profoundly with your North Node sign. If you don't know what your North Node is, you can check that up by check that out on your by looking up your birth chart. So you need to have your birth time to do that. Okay, but if you don't know your North Node, that's okay too. Okay, whichever one resonates with you um, is the one that you should be checking. Now, also Cancer, um, I am a Reiki master and I'm a healer. So at the end of this reading, I'm going to be doing a small prayer, incantation, activation, healing. Um, so if you want to stick with me through that, you certainly can. All right, let's jump into this. So let's see what messages come through for my dearest fellow Cancers. Um, while I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, as I know many of you guys out there are readers yourselves or you're learning tarot, um, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. And also feel free to leave a comment. Ooh. And... Don't forget to ring that notification bell. So Cancers, let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what's happening right now for my Cancers. Wow. <laughs> First card out. Boom. <laughs> Tower. All right. Um, how you can move through this with grace and ease. Wow, Cancer. Releasing. Beautiful. What are you learning? The Knight of Cups. Yeah, some of my Cancers you were dealing with, like, somebody who wasn't as committed. What are you leaving behind? Oh my gosh, Cancer. What's on its way in? Yes, union, celebration. <laughs> Cancers. What have you guys been through? What's your medicine? The five of wands. I think somebody underestimated you here, Cancer. I really do. I think somebody underestimated you. I'm going to just tell it like I see it right away. Look at that. Ace of wands. Something new, something beautiful. Passion. Cancers. Wow, look at this double A. Somebody's going to want to come back in. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you, dear Cancer. Maybe somebody that you're not talking to. This could be your twin. It could be a karmic situation. But what I'm seeing is you have clarity, you have truth, you've come into alignment. I think what I'm what I was getting. Somebody underestimated you, my dear Cancers, and shame on them. A lot of times people mistake cancer, kindness, and giving, and compassion for weakness. And this person that you've been dealing with, twin or otherwise, is sorely mistaken. I think you blew it up, cancer. 
I think this is your doing. I think you called in this flash of lightning and you blew this up. It was painful. It was painful for you because I think, Cancer, you ignored red flags when it came to this person. I think you felt a lot of love and a very, very deep connection with this person. And time after time after time, they took advantage of you and they didn't, um, and they didn't give back. I'm seeing somebody here who took you for granted. They have a lot of regret, but I think they also took your kindness and your compassion for weakness because what I heard with this five of wands is actually like a cat sharpening its claws. I think they didn't realize you had the fight in you. I'm seeing somebody seriously like blowing up a bridge, like going no stars, full dark. Cancer. <laughs> what is going on? So let's figure this out. What's happening? Tower, a complete shock. I think you shocked the S-H-I-T out of someone. I really do. I think you blew someone up. Not literally, obviously, right? But I think you, I think you've had enough. I think you were holding on to someone or something, and I think you gave them a hundred, hundred million chances, whatever it might be, to show up to come correct, and they didn't. And there's this major epiphany. For some of you guys, it was just something that they did or they said that made you realize I'm out. I'm done. I deserve something better. And that's exactly what you're getting. You're fighting for it, but I don't think you're sitting back anymore, Cancer. You know, Cancer, sometimes people, you know, think that we're docile, okay? And they couldn't be further from the truth because there's no one more powerful and more strong and gentle as a Cancer. Emperor energy. Yep. Some of you guys that you are dealing with your divine masculine and you may be dealing with an Aries. It could be Sagittarius energy. It could be Scorpio energy, or you could have these in your chart. But what I'm seeing here is something became too much. The burdens became too much. And I think you were, you were always fixing the situation. I think you were holding space for this person. I think you were making excuses even for this person, Cancer. And you're not anymore. You're bossing up. You're stepping into your power. You're making decisions. And again, this is a decision that nobody is expecting or was expecting. Cancer, how you move through it with grace and ease. You're just sort of dropping. It's like you're, it's like drop the mic. <laughs> I feel like I, it's like complete silence. I think people are just like jaws have dropped. Yep. Yep. You were dealing with somebody who was smug. You were dealing with somebody who was arrogant. Somebody who thought that they could continue to treat you the way that they were. Okay. Or somebody that could treat you like an option or somebody that didn't have to give back to you. Knight of Cups energy. Somebody who was playing you. They never thought you would do this, Cancer. But you decided, and even if you depend on this person financially, even if you fought for this person, I feel like you were maybe wrapped up in their drama for a little bit. And this, this person, they're smug, but you're walking away from them and they can't believe it. And it's like you decided to not take the path of least resistance. You decided to take the right path, the spiritual journey, even if that means being alone, even if that means having less, even if that means feeling bad cancer. This is like one badass reading. This is some pretty badass energy. Enough is enough. Look at all of these tens. You were dealing with somebody who was smug, somebody who wasn't who they said they were. You're walking away from them. Even if you took a loss. Even if you invested a lot of time, energy, love, money into this situation, Cancer, you're like, you know what? I'd rather be alone than in bad company and I will take a loss because Cancer, you trust yourself. You trust yourself. No matter what you have, no matter where you go, you know you're going to survive because Cancers, we're the crabs and we take our home on our back. Okay, so it doesn't matter. We may get there slowly. It might take us a while. Um, to get there. But once this decision is made, it is done and done. So what you're learning, the Knight of Cups, about commitment. 
and commitment. <laughs> what you're learning here is that you need to trust your higher self. I do feel like Cancer, some of us were ignoring red flags. And we see this sort of high priestess type energy. There was something here about your intuition that you weren't trusting about this person because you didn't want to believe that somebody that you loved so much or that you'd invested so much time into. Whether, well, you know, it doesn't matter if it was a day or if it was a week or it was a year or it was a decade. You, When cancers, when we get involved, we involve ourselves wholly and completely. But what I'm seeing here is there was always this little nagging feeling or maybe this person was telling us who they were. But what I'm seeing is you're learning that you need to trust your instincts. This, you were really in your head. This person, you were feeling trapped because this person wasn't dedicated. And what I'm seeing in particular with this Knight of Pentacles energy, this is about you really, really taking the time to get to know someone. This is about you not rushing into things. Although I, I'm not sure that you did rush into this because I do feel like you put in a considerable amount of time and effort. But I think you were emotionally vulnerable, whereas this person wasn't. The Knight of Cups in reverse is a player or a play at, and they had you really up in your head because this person was good. This this person was good at painting a picture, the Nine of Cups. There's somebody who seemingly had it all. But then you started to notice these little, you know, like little tears around the edges. You know, you started to notice that everything isn't quite what it seemed. And what I love about this Knight of Pentacles is he's very dedicated, he's very protected, he's very slow moving. And, you know, this could be somebody too, Cancer, who was trying to rush you into things as well. And I do feel like maybe you were dealing with somebody who was love bombing you. And I think you kind of recognized it, but you felt like you could deal with it. But before you knew it, you were in this Nine of Swords energy. What I love about this energy, though, is this Knight of Pentacles is taking what he's learned. I mean, this is, to me, it's a very Cancerian energy. He's very protected, but he's moving away from, from that Knight of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Swords. Something here has been driving you crazy. Something you might have even felt like you were becoming obsessed with this situation or this person. For some of my cancers out there, I do feel like this person like was, you know, I, I don't want to say was using black magic or spell work, but I feel like this person, there is some sort of negative attachment with this person. They were definitely triggering something in you that made you feel like obsessed or like there's some sort of negative attachment to this person. But you're doing the work, taking the steps to move away from them. And some of you guys, they were very drastic. I mean, you called in, you know, <laughs> thunder and lightning to help you out. What you're leaving behind, the pain, guilt, shame. You're not, you're not, it's not your fault. You know that. That's what I'm getting. Like, you know, it's not your fault. Yeah, I knew this card was going to come out. Some of you guys, you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, there was something in, I think it was the Sagittarius reading, the, the devil came out. Yeah, you're walking away from this very toxic cycle or this very toxic situation. You're bossing up. You've taken this as far as you can. You know that. Two of Wands, you've made a decision, even if it feels like a setback. And we see that with the Five of Pentacles. Even if you lose money, even if you're staying on your friend's sofas, I'm not suggesting you do that, right? But I'm saying like you are, you are like, you are ride or die here, Cancer. And I think you are just dumb. You're dumb. And you're willing to do what it takes. And what's on its way in, celebration, union, friends, excitement. Yeah, I mean, it's this is like no easy task. There's a beautiful, new, passionate beginning divinely orchestrated for you because of your strength and courage, Cancer. Maybe it's a Virgo person. Ooh, could be a Libra or could be a Taurus. What I'm seeing here, though, is actually that this person that you're walking away from, whether they're your divine masculine or they're your twin or it was a karmic, they are going to, they, they're in disbelief that you're doing this, that you pulled the plug. Excuse me. 
that you purged and released them. They never saw it coming, even though I'm sure you told them. They didn't believe it. So the hermit is about like learning lessons, right? And like this is you learning your lessons about being treated as an option or not putting yourself first. Okay, and you're calling in like soul tribe members. You're leaning on your inner circle. You may even be calling in new love. This person is learning the lesson about how they treated you. They're reflecting on it. This is why I feel like with the five of wands, they're, they're not going to want to let you go or they're going to see you sort of up leveling and, and, and having this like major glow up. And it's going to be a huge awakening for them. So I'm seeing like also if you're dealing with your divine masculine, you walking out or you removing yourself energetically, Cancer. And for many of you guys, it was with an absolute bang or it was completely unexpected. Because I think this person thought you were always going to be around. Because you were always around. But they mistook your kindness for weakness. And they, they definitely underestimated your strength, Cancer. And you're moving into some, some sort of beautiful union. You might be calling in love. You might be calling in a couple of different people because you're looking good. You've learned your lesson. And this person is seeing you. We have the emperor and the empress. Okay. Whether you're the divine masculine or divine feminine, it's like you're... <laughs> this person is looking at everything that they've lost. And that's where this conflict is. So for some of you guys, this is a karmic partner and you're calling in your soulmate and they're not going to want to see that. This person is very ego-driven, the person that you are dealing with. If it's your twin, you're walking away, you're activating that cord, but you're not quite in alignment is what I'm seeing. Because Cancer, you might be this divine masculine energy and your person, what they're learning is they've got a lot of work to do if they ever want to be in your good graces or they ever have a shot with you again. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, overall energy. There's a major victory here, but there's some red flags. And I was seeing this card in my mind's eye earlier up here. There are definitely some red flags that maybe you dismissed. So this person has a lot of ego energy. But you're, you're calling in victory, okay? You're calling in victory. Yeah, this person's realizing they missed an opportunity in love with you because this is your energy, the Nine of Pentacles. I'd rather be alone than in bad company. Focusing on your works, focusing on, you're very grateful for everything that you have, Cancer. You're grateful for your friends and your family. Yeah, even if it's like, even if it feels like or looks on the outside that like things aren't going your way, it's like this beautiful trust in yourself. And I see that here with the Five of Pentacles. You're trusting yourself. You're trusting this journey. You're walking away from anything that doesn't serve you. And this is a particular person that you're walking away from. Now, your medicine is there are challenges, but you also know that you're up for these challenges. You know that you have what it takes. This person now sees what they've lost. And they actually, they, I really do feel this energy of underestimating you. For some of you, you experienced a lot of delays and frustrations. And if this is a karmic person that you're walking away from, it is a little challenging. There are going to be these peri these down periods where you're wondering, okay, like, why is it taking so long for me to call in my true partner? You will have to wait. And it might, there will be moments of pause where you feel alone, where you feel like backtracking or you feel like, you know, slipping back or maybe even considering this person again because you're lonely but spirit saying to hold out, there's something new. There's something really beautiful coming your way. We get the nine of pentacles. You are meant to learn a powerful lesson on how capable you are on your own. Even if it's for a short while or even if it's for a long while, this is Venus and Virgo energy. So strong. Some of you guys could have Virgo in your chart or you could be dealing with a Virgo, but you're learning these lessons. You're learning the lesson of being alone, the power of being alone. This person is going to come back in. It's going to be up to you, Cancer, what you do with that. Because I feel like many of you guys, you know, this person comes back in just as you start something new. But what you're waiting for is what I'm seeing here, what's coming in. It may be a little bit of a challenge because this person comes back in. But your spirit's asking you to hold out for, for this gift that you're going to be given. Somebody who treats you like they're a true empress, holds you in very high regard. 
for a re for a, a relationship where there's reciprocity because there wasn't in this other relationship. You were dealing with somebody who's very egocentric and very selfish. So Spirit's saying it's going to be challenging, but you can do it. Hold out for the one because you're going to be getting a beautiful gift with the energy that you're calling in. Wow, I love you and I am not available. Yeah, some of you guys... There was true love here, but this person wasn't available to give you what they want, what you needed, and what you were giving them. I wish things could be different. Mm -hmm, so do I. <laughs> right? I think that's both of you. And you and I were too young. Interesting. But what I'm getting with you and I were too young, it's like, I feel like, I feel like, Whatever this situation was that you got into, Cancer. I mean, it could be somebody that you were with like when you were younger, or you were high school sweethearts or something like that. But more than anything, I'm getting that you guys both kind of got into it maybe a little bit too quickly. Okay, and I feel like that's a little bit of a lesson being learned here to hold yourself in high regard, to make sure that you know somebody's intentions before you get emotionally involved. Don't start acting like the wife or the husband or the boyfriend or the girlfriend before they're giving you that energy. And that's this big lesson that you're learning. And it's about maturity. Okay, it really is. It's about maturing. And, and that's what I was getting here. It's about protecting yourself and protecting your energy. Because I think there were certain red flags, but you may have ignored them because you jumped into things too quickly or because you didn't want to acknowledge them. And Spirit's saying this is really an important step. Okay, this is an important step that can't be passed. Like can't be, um, I don't know why I'm speaking funny. Why, uh, that can't be skipped. Master Jesus, forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So you guys know that many, a lot of our karma, like I said in the introduction, is, is you know, or our energy blocks come from childhood or past life. For some of you guys, it's important to take a look at your relationship with your father to see if there's a repeating cycle, if you have a tendency to call in, you know, whatever, you know, and it's not about blaming your father. It's not about, it's not about blame, but it's about taking a look at repeating patterns when it comes to masculine energy that you might draw into your, into your life, how they might sort of, how you might be recreating home, okay, with, with the people that you call into your life, forgiving yourself, forgiving your parents. The Shekinah, she comes out in all of our readings, you guys. Um... Yeah, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of light. Okay, so the Shekinah and Jesus, they are supporting you, Cancer, on this journey, trusting your intuition. For some of you guys, this is going to be somebody really far off in your past, somebody you were married to, somebody you were with a very long time ago. But they may be coming in for forgiveness and closure. That's what I'm getting. It may be coming up with this next Mercury retrograde. You might be realizing that this healing that's taking place, it may be somebody that you vowed like never to forgive. It could be like your first, you know, your first partner, the first person you fell in love with. But it's been creating a lot of chaos and conflict it's an unhealed wound that's finally being healed because you're forgiving them and you're forgiving yourself. Maybe this is something that happened when you were young. Again, you may have jumped into this situation. You might have tolerated a lot more than you would with anybody else because the connection here is so strong. Hmm. We get goodwill. That popped out fast. Crystal goddess. Goddess Gaia and Ocean Jasper. Of course we get Ocean Jasper. Really beautiful for my cancers. 45, breaking down to a 9. So we have a lot of 9s coming out. So it's like you're very near to ending this karmic cycle, cancer. 
Somebody took your goodwill for weakness. That's what I'm getting. And you're recognizing that. You're not changing. You're not changing that either. It's actually just strengthening you. I'm going to read from the book. This is the Crystal Mandala Oracle by Alana Fairchild. When you feel peace within, it's easier to recognize that you have a place in the world and a destiny no person can take away from you. And when you recognize that, it's easier to know that others also have their own place destined for them alone. This removes fear and competition and allows you to become an encourager. An encourager is a person who generates goodwill. They are not afraid of missing out. They believe in their own destiny and operate within a field of abundance. They trust that their rightful divine inheritance will be bestowed upon them according to a loving and generous divine intelligence. They trust that all people can receive without causing harm or diminishment to another. They believe in win-win situations and know the only way humanity can evolve is together. So they want others to succeed. They are happy to be at the cosmic traffic lights, so to speak, and allow the others who have a green light to go first. They know their time for a green light will come in due course, and so it shall be for all taking a journey on the divine highway of life. Goodwill that is cultivated by individuals becomes part of a collective field. It is the psychic equivalent of a group of angels, perhaps with cheerleader pom-poms, waiting in the sidelines until someone needs help. They then burst forward with unparalleled enthusiasm to rally the person's spirits and boost their confidence. If you have ever attended a sporting game with a cheer squad in attendance, you'll know just how effective encouragement can be for the teammates in the game to tap into their strength of will and refuse to give up. The stronger that field of goodwill created on a day-to-day -day basis by individuals, the more encouragement is available to whomever needs it, whenever they need it. It is very real. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, Cancers. I feel like this is the divine, your angelic cheerleading squad saying things aren't always going to be easy because you have chosen a very unique path. Some of you guys, as a result of this connection or what you've experienced either in childhood or in relationships, this is you're unleashing your gift of healing and supporting, even if you haven't been supported. It's like you are rising above the situation and you're not changing who you are because I do feel like this person underestimated your strength. They took your kindness not only for granted, but they took it for weakness and you're, and the tables have turned because you're not stopping what you're doing. In fact, you're continuing it because it's part of your life's path here. Spirit says, wait, be patient. Divine timing is at work here. There may be struggles. There may be challenges. I do feel like this person is going to come back in, but I just keep getting this message. You're going to be granted a gift from the universe, but you need to hold out for it. Be strong. Again, this is cancer. You can do it. You're, you're on the right path. Even if it's very challenging, there's something very beautiful coming to you. All right, so I'm going to leave it here. If this is where we part, you guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for being on this journey with me. For those of you who would like to stay with me for the prayer and incantation, I'm just going to ask that you focus on the candle. And you sit up straight wherever you might be. And take a deep breath and come into alignment. You guys can repeat after me or silently. I choose of my own free will through this and any lifetime and through all layers of my entire being to forgive, detach, and release from any ill wishing. I now enter wholly and completely into the field of goodwill. May all beings be happy and free. May love prosper in the hearts of all. Through divine empowerment and unconditional love, so be it. May divine love bring goodwill to humanity and between all things. 
according to divine grace and in service to the divine feminine wisdom evolving through humanity at this time. So be it. I win. Love wins. Every soul wins. Yes, Cancer. Yes. Yes. Some of the most powerful, powerful amongst us. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.